Grade 5 Math Number 14, Grouping Symbols. Parentheses inside brackets, or parentheses inside parentheses. Isn't, doesn't that sound confusing? When we evaluate an expression with parentheses, brackets, braces, we evaluate the innermost expression first, and evaluate the expression from the inside out. So we start with the inside and slowly work our way out. So this is what they look like. Parentheses are curved, like that. Brackets are like box edges. It's like someone cut a box open and split it apart, right? And then braces are these funny little shaped things that have the little point in the middle like that. Those are braces, okay? So we would do parentheses first, then brackets, and then what's inside the braces, all right? Every week, Emma and Tala do yard work to earn money. Emma makes $22 and spends $15 on school lunches and saves the rest. Tala makes $15 and spends $10 on bus fare and saves the rest. They want to buy their friend Lisa a gift for her birthday in three weeks. So how much will they have to spend on Lisa's present? So we know how much they make. We have to figure out how much they make compared to what they save and spend and then figure out what they have left over for three weeks, right? So Emma, if you can see, makes $22 and spends $15 on school lunches. So she makes $22 and you have to take away the 15 that she spends on school lunches. See? And then Tala makes 15 and spends $10 on bus fare. Okay? So we have to do that one. Then we need to figure out what that is together and then we need to multiply it by the three. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, if you can see, there's parentheses. All right, so we're going to do the parent. What's inside the parentheses first? We do 22. Take away the 15 dollars. 22 take away 15 is. Do you know? It's seven dollars. So that right here would be seven dollars. Okay, we'll put it there so it's less confusing. And then we have to do the 15 take away 10 dollars for Tala. 15 take away 10 is 5, so we got $5, all right? So now we know how much they've got left over after they've spent money on bus fare and school lunches. Emma has 7 left over and Tala has 5 left over. Now we need to add them together, see? Because now we're going inside the brackets. We did inside the parentheses. Now we're going to do inside the brackets. 7 plus 5 is 12. So now we know everything inside of here equals $12. And now we know they've got three weeks to save, so we need to multiply that $12 times three. So we're going to do the multiplication last. So we did parentheses, then we did everything that was inside the brackets, which meant the addition right there. And now we're going to multiply. Three times $12 is $36. Emma and Tala have $36 to spend on Lisa's present. They should be able to get something nice for $36, I would think. All right, so here's another one. We're going to do the parentheses first, then the brackets, and then we're going to multiply. We do what's in the parentheses first. 2 plus 7 is 9, and 6 plus 1 is 7. And now, to finish what's in the brackets, there's a subtraction sign here. So we're going to do 9 minus 7, okay? 9 take away 7. That gives us 2. So now everything in the parentheses and brackets is finished. We can multiply. So we've got 2, we need to multiply it to the 5, and that gives us 10. This whole thing equaled 10. See? Let's try this one. This one's really confusing looking, isn't it? So ignore all this down here. Look at all those parentheses and brackets and braces. Oh my gosh! Well, what this means is we're going to do 3 times 5 first, and we're going to do 2 times 6. Then we're going to add the answer to the 3 times 5 to the 4, and we're going to add the answer to the 2 times 6 to the 5. Then, if you notice, there's a subtraction sign right here in the center. Then we're going to subtract the one from the other, and then we're going to multiply it by 5. Because we have to do what's in the parentheses first, then the brackets, then the braces, and then multiply. All right? So let's do parentheses. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 6 is 12. All right? So now let's do brackets. We've got 15 plus 4. 15 plus 4 is 19. All right, and we can do 12 plus 5, which is 17. Now we can do 
what's inside the braces, the 19 minus 17. That gives us 2. 2 times 5 is 10. See? Out of all this busy, crazy-looking math stuff, the answer was 10. Not that hard. Okay? Let's see if we can write one. Can you help me write one? All right. Emma and her mother record their favorite television shows on their DVR each week. Emma records four shows every weekday and three on Saturdays. Her mother records two shows every weekday and six on Saturdays. If they saved all the recorded shows for three weeks, how many shows would be on the DVR? Sounds like there'd be a lot of them on there to me and that they'd have to start deleting some to make room for new recordings. But let's find out how much would be on the DVR, okay? So first of all, let's start with Emma. She records four shows every weekday, all right? Well, a weekday does not mean a weekend. It doesn't mean Saturday and Sunday. So that just means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's five days. So she's doing four shows for five days, the weekdays, okay? So four for five days, all right? And then she's doing three on Saturdays. Okay, so we need to add the three on the Saturdays. All right? And now her mother records two shows on the weekdays, every weekday. So her mother's doing two times five. And her mother does six on Saturdays. So we have to add the six that she does on the Saturdays. Okay? Now, it says... How many shows would be on the DVR that tells me we need to add these all up? So we need to add this and this together. So we got to put this in brackets so we don't confuse it with her mother. Okay? They've got to be added. And we need to find out for three weeks. So all of this needs to be multiplied times three. Okay? So now we can answer it because we've got it all written. I hope you were able to follow me on that, all right? So, 4 times 5 is in the parentheses. We're going to do parentheses first. 4 times 5 is 20, okay? 2 times 5 is 10. And now, 20 plus 3 is 23. And 10 plus 6 is 16. So now we did everything that was in the parentheses and the brackets. We could have done braces, right, to tell us that all of that was together. So now we need to do 23 plus 16, and 23 plus 16, 3 and 6 is 9, and the 2 and the 1 for 10s is 3. So we have 39, and now we need to multiply that by 3, okay? So 39 times 3. That means they have 39 shows they're recording every week on the weekdays and on Saturdays. 3 times 9 is 27. We carry the 2 and put the 7 down. 3 times 3 is 9, 10, 11. That's 117 shows that they've got on their DVR for the three weeks. Boy, that DVR holds a lot of shows, doesn't it? So do you see how I did that? I took Emma's little information and the fact that it was weekdays, so I knew it had to be five weekdays, okay? And then her mom was two shows on the weekdays, so that was two times five, and her six on the Saturdays, and Emma's three on the Saturdays. And then we had to split them up so we didn't get them confused. We wanted to keep Emma's information separate from her mother's information until we had it all figured out, see? That's where the brackets and the parentheses came in handy. And then... We figure it all out, we add it all up, then we do our multiplication, and we have our answer. So, remember when you're doing parentheses inside of parentheses, or the brackets and the braces and stuff, that you want to start on the very, very inside, and then slowly work your way out, okay? Start on the very inside, work your way out, and you'll be fine, okay? I'll see you next video. I hope this helped. Bye.